Hey guys, Brit the Stormtrooper here again, and we got another unboxing, and uh, if this is what I think it is, it's, it's going to be a really interesting unboxing. This is a box that came to me from Japan, uh, and, and again, I'm not sure what it is. I think I know what it is, and if it is what I think it is, it's not Transformers this time, but it's still something really, really cool. So let's get the camera switched up, and let's go back to the uh, buffed view, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so let's, uh, yeah, everything is taped up. I haven't uh, opened anything yet, so we'll go ahead and get started on cutting things open. And I really hope that this is what I think it is, because this was meant to be a Father's Day gift. But again, because it was coming from overseas, coming from Japan, uh, shipping gets delayed and, you know, all that kind of stuff is happening. So, uh, yeah, it actually ended up getting here sooner than I thought. Uh, which is nice. Again, if it is what I think it is, <laughs> I'm trying to show somehow, show off what's happening here to you guys. Um, as you can see, I'm still not quite set up uh, with my usual setup because uh, if you saw my last video, I shared pictures of what my collection room currently looks like, and it's still pretty much just a mess of boxes. <laughs> it's just like this little tower castle of, of boxes that need to be unpacked and I gotta put all my shelves up I gotta move all the boxes out of the room actually I gotta move them out first and then I can start putting on my shelves and once the shelves are up then I can start working on the actual unpacking and putting the figures up so it is what I thought it was and if you guys are not familiar with this this is really, really interesting stuff. So you can see right there already it says robot, <laughs> family computer robot. I am super, super excited about this. I'm trying to get this out of here as carefully as possible. It's already made the trip from Japan without, hopefully, without any damages. And I would hate to receive it here and be the one to damage it. There we are. Uh, there's nothing else in the box, so we can now concentrate on what we have here. So, if you're familiar with Nintendo, then this might look somewhat familiar to you, but maybe a little strange from the norm, and I'll explain. So, what we have here is the family computer robot, which is basically the Japanese version of Rob what we got here in the US as Rob but this is the Japanese version which is very very cool now um, I have an American version of Rob and Gyromite and a little went there and I have made videos of of Rob playing I think I made a video of Rob playing Gyromite at some point um, so my, if the story of, of my Rob goes that I found him at a cards collect like a collectible card shop uh, I was just kind of perusing. They had a sign outside that said they had video games, so I was just kind of perusing. And I found this bin of stuff under a table, and I was going through it, and I found an original Rob. And most of his parts, uh, everything except one of the claws, uh, that I had to, I ordered like a 3D printed replacement, which I still use. But uh, other than that, everything was there. Now, he wasn't working 100%, and I opened it up, and I got some replacement parts for him. I actually did a deal with a local toy dealer that had another Rob that had, it was, he was, it, it didn't turn, his didn't turn on, and he really wasn't interested in fixing it. Um, he just wanted it for display. So I made a deal with him, and I basically bought his guts out of his Rob. And so I brought his Rob home. I opened them both up. I swapped out the guts and uh, put his together. I actually fixed his issue and got his to turn on too. So his Rob actually turns on and resets and does all of that. But if you were, if you were to try to hold any weight with it, the gears would skip because that's what was wrong with mine. And he has my guts now. Uh, but I now have a fully working Rob. Now, for those of you that don't know the story of Rob, he was kind of like the Trojan horse that brought Nintendo to the US. Two games were ever really developed for him. One was Gyromite, which I have, and it's a very common game uh, because it was a packing game with the Nintendo when it first came out for that first year or so. So it's a very common game, very easy to get, very cheap. The second game was called Robot Block, or as, is it, as it's known in the States, Stack Up. 
but even if you get it as a stack up, when you put it into the Nintendo it, when, and you turn it on, the Nintendo will still say Robot Block. They didn't even translate that. That game was very saw very limited release and is very difficult to find. It's hard to find a game and it's even harder to find all of the accessories that go to the game stack up, which are the little blocks and the little pedestals for those blocks and the little hands that are designed to hold those blocks so the game the accessories are hard to find replacements for the accessories are hard to find though some people are starting to make 3d printed parts and then the game itself is hard to find it's a very expensive game if you get the japanese version however it's a little cheaper so if you have an adapter that you can play the japanese version on the nintendo that will work and if you have a famicom that will also work and you'll be able to get the game a little cheaper that way i have both uh for years i used my adapter on my nes to play japanese games and now actually recently f uh picked up a uh f uh fully working famicom duo which plays both the cartridges and it also plays the desks so i have both versions and you can probably hear zool in the background there barking and who knows what so uh so i was looking for the robot block version on uh, the japanese version so i could save a couple of bucks on it and i stumbled upon this lot and this lot includes the entire game pack and the Japanese version of Rob, or rather the family computer robot, the Famicom robot, whatever you want to call them. So I'm really excited because now I have both versions. Now this, uh, I don't know what the operating conditions of this is. The auction does state that it's in good condition and working. Uh, that may only mean that he turns on. Um, I don't know if he'll take commands moving. Um, you know, or, or if he does take commands moving, uh, we don't know what the condition of the internal gears are because it's, he's so old, right? Uh, so, so at worst, worst case scenario, I have a really cool display piece uh, because I do have my other working Rob, which I'll be able to play the game with. Uh, so worst case scenario, I'll have a very cool display piece. Best case scenario, I got myself a fully working Japanese Rob. And there's the instructions or some warnings for family com robot i should stop calling him rob because that's not who he is let's get this guy out and check him out very carefully because these are packed in very thin foam that i do not want to damage let's try, to try and grab him by the neck there and check the inside of the box nothing left in there let's set that guy aside i love it I got the whole box too because I can display that too. So here's the instructions for Famicom Robot. And uh, if you ever saw the instructions for Rob, these are pretty much the same, you know, kind of instructions to set them up. So, you know, there's that. So you can see what these guys look like. Uh, a couple of warnings. Don't, you know, don't go sunbathing with Rob. Uh, they'll go on a drinking binge with Rob, that kind of thing. There you go. So, set that guy off to the side. A couple of wrinkles, not too bad. And here's the little guy himself. Oh, man. This is so cool. Now, physically, he is the same as American Rob. Uh, the only difference is going to be the colors. And he does have a little bit of fading, which is to be expected. So, where the American Rob was uh, gray with gray accents... This guy is going to be that Famicom, that classic Famicom color. It's like an off-white um, with maroon accents. Let's get these guys out of the way here. And let's check this guy out. How gorgeous is this guy, huh? Check this guy out. Oh, he's beautiful. This is already worth it, just as is. It's already worth it because I have this guy on the shelf. Worst case scenario. So absolutely beautiful, beautiful robot. My goodness, check him out. He's in fantastic condition. Let's uh, check the battery cover. And these, these battery covers are scary. Okay. It's, it's really weird the way they designed these. Oh, yeah, those are... Super clean contacts. Doesn't look like there's been any corrosion. It's a little bit of corrosion on that side there. Not a whole lot, though. So um, I'm hoping this guy will turn on just fine. Yeah, there is a little bit of corrosion on him. So if he doesn't operate, he might be easy to fix. A little bit of cleaning, and that'll do it. Now let's check out Robot Block here, the game. Stack up. Let's get this guy opened up. And you can see what this guy looks like. So there it is. Check check out the box. Shows you that it works with the robot and what it looks like in the front. 
and a little screenshot of the game and the robot working with the Famicom. I do have one of the old classic Famicoms, but my unit is not working. That's and so rather than uh, working on fixing that, I got the Duo. So because uh, I wanted to be able to play the discs as well. So my uh, Famicom, my classic Famicom, is is a display piece now. Uh, there's the game itself. The instructions. And a little warning piece there. And of course we've got the pedestals and the blocks for the robot himself. The little foam blocks. I don't know. Everybody says the same thing. I don't know why they call these blocks. And, you know, because they're little round foam cylinders, really. Anything else. And here are the hands for Rob. And right away, so these have little foam pads on the ends of them so they can pick up these blocks. And one of the little foam pads came off, so no big deal. That was just a little little uh, touch of glue and that'll go right back on there so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this guy together and I'm gonna go test him see if he uh, turns on and if he's working I'll get some footage of him uh, working with stack up so or robot block rather so uh, but if he doesn't work um, I may just hook up actual regular Rob and you know just to kind of look at see the game playing and all of that uh, but I, I, I got a good feeling about this guy so we'll go and check him out So real quick, check out the cartridge. It's got Rob right on the cartridge. I absolutely love that. So let's get it. Uh, let's get the game. Put another Famicom and check it out. Okay, so here we are set up. It's a bit of a crude setup. I've actually never done this before, trying to um, set up a video game and show you guys everything. I don't have a capture card or anything like that, and this is actually all original, uh, classic hardware. So I don't have a classic or a capture card or split screens or any of that stuff. I'm still very rudimentary, but we've got the game set up on the Famicom. We've got Family Computer Robot all ready to go. And uh, we've got the block set up. So we're gonna start with making sure that he's talking and his light is blinking. So that's good. So the next thing is gonna be to actually play a game. And I've never played this game before, so what it's going to do is we're going to go down here to direct and we're going to be presented with a stage one starts off with the blocks in the middle and the configuration that they're in now and then it's going to give you another configuration that you need to take them to and you got to try and do that in as little time as possible for points so let's give it a shot so i've got all the blocks in the middle and the exact order that i have them now and i need to move the top white and red blocks over to space one as fast as possible. So I'm actually already lined up with the uh, white block, so I'm ready to pick it up actually. So I can just go ahead and close these arms there. And then lift up. And we're gonna go to the right, to the right again. I'm gonna bring it down. One more time. Probably, yep, one more time. And then we can open the arms. And we're done. Let's start for points. Ready for phase two. So, yeah, pretty neat. So now I got blocks red and white on one. And the three in the middle. So I need to move the three that are currently in the middle all the way to block five. So we're going to do that. And Rob does tend to move a little slow. That's kind of the way he was. And that's going to fall over. If I move him over, so I need to bring him up one more time. This is really cool because uh, I just, I love Rob. I absolutely love Rob. One of my favorite accessories for the Nintendo ever. Uh, you can see my original American Rob up here. Uh, fully functioning, like I mentioned earlier. I found them under a table in a bin with a bunch of parts. Uh, at a collectible card store and I brought him home and I have um, uh, did a surgery on him a couple of times and eventually got him working, uh, which is very exciting. But uh, that's not quite lining up the way it should. Let's 
you see, if I try to pick it up there, it's only going to pick up the yellow block. It's not going to pick up the green block. Yeah, see? That's not going to work. I'm going to drop those. I think what I need to do is bring his neck all the way up to get him realigned. And this is how it was back in the 80s, kids. <laughs> this is how we played with our robotic little buddy. Yeah, that's ready. All right, let's try that again, and then we'll cut it off because this can get very long and tedious otherwise. So we'll just finish this stage and go from there. Well, it looks like I've already ran out of time for the uh, bonus. So that's no good. I've already done, the part was 22 steps, and I'm at 24 now. So I'm not getting any bonus. Now let's try and close that. There we go. Will that work? And we need to go to block five. And there it is. All done. Very, very cool. We'll go ahead and. That's it, then. So, very cool, very neat um, uh, accessory. A very cool part of Nintendo history. He's not lined up. There he goes. <laughs> oh, come on. You knew I was going to have to do this, right? Synchronize Rob Swimming. This is how the robots come to take over. So there he is, guys, the uh, family computer robot uh, next to his American counterpart, Rob. Uh, so excited about this find. Uh, and the fact that he worked perfectly, had a little bit of problem turning him on at first. Uh, that corrosion that I showed you uh, in the batteries uh, were not allowing him to turn on. Cleaned that up, and then he fired right up. And uh, he works perfectly. I dare say he works better than my Rob, which I've uh, uh, personally worked on and got him working and have been very happy. I've taken him to shows and exhibitions and everything. I dare say this guy works better and quieter than my original or, or American rather uh, Rob does. So really super happy with this find. The goal was to get the game. Uh, I ended up getting a bonus robot with him uh, that is an immaculate shape, fantastic, really cool stuff. I'm so happy to add this guy to my collection, along with my Famicom and my other Japanese uh, video game things. So, really cool. So, not my usual uh, kind of video. I know you guys are used to seeing me do Transformers. I've done some, you know, touched on video game stuff here and there, but uh, really not my forte. I, I kind of dip in the toe into this kind of thing. Uh, but it was a an unboxing video, something that I was really looking forward to. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing and uh, maybe enjoyed seeing a little bit of Japanese Nintendo history there. Uh, with this little gentleman right here. So I am going to switch this off and I'm going to get back to playing with my new toy. And uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for joining. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Give me a, a, a like. Give me a subscribe. Can you tell I haven't done videos in a while? I don't remember what my outros are. Uh, hit the bell icon so you're notified when I make a new video. I don't know when that will be. I'll just do them as I get them. As I, they occur to me. And uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you next time.